How to cite a serial box in MLA 2009? Because if you can cite a serial box, you can cite anything. In general, for MLA documentation, in order to be able to create your works cited entry, you need the author's name, the publication information, and the medium type, regardless of what it is you're trying to cite. The theory of documentation is this. This is my theory. It really is not a set of rules as much as it is an abstract principle which you then apply to particular instances. Not only is it an abstract principle in, f in the way that you should attribute your sources, but really what you're trying to do is provide a clear guide for your reader to actually find your source, independent of your essay. For me as a researcher, my research often starts in someone else's works cited or reference list. Therefore, it's very important that I be able to actually locate that material. If you think of MLA as a set of rules, sometimes the rules fail you. So sometimes it's easier to think about it as an abstract principle. You need to examine your source before you create your citation. Whether it is a book, a web page, a TV show, or a video, examine the source inside and out and try to find the required information. This process also helps you evaluate and learn about your source. I was trying to cite a cereal box, so first I looked at the front of the box. Then I looked at the back of the box. I read and examined the sides of the box. I even looked inside the box. And then I looked at the top and the bottom of the box. What I decided from my research of the box was that there was no author, there was no accurate description of medium, there was no date, but I do have a year of purchase. There was a corporate sponsor or a publisher. And there was a title, and there was a place of publication. I decided the title is Post Shredded Wheat with a subtitle, Original. Post Shredded Wheat, colon, Original. I decided the medium was a print serial box. All the descriptions of medium that I found in the MLA documentation I could locate failed me. This wasn't a video cassette, it wasn't a DVD, it wasn't just something print because it was three dimensional. It, it wasn't a web page, so I decided to call it a print serial box. I decided that the corporate sponsor or publisher was Post Foods LLC. I decided the place of publication was St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri. Based on a sample template I located, I decided to cite this kind of like it was a sponsored project on the web but since it wasn't on the web, I would leave the date of access off of the citation. So putting in the information I had, since I didn't have an author, the next thing goes next, which is the title. I have, quote, Post Shredded Wheat, colon, original, end quote, Post Foods LLC, St. Louis, Missouri, 2010 was my date of publication, and I'm calling it a print serial box. So some people would pro might disagree with me on how to cite the serial box, but I think that this is good to go and even experts would probably disagree but when you're faced with a situation which you often will be where the rules just don't cover it and you're trying to cite something in MLA documentation you have to take the abstract principle of guiding the reader to the source and giving them enough information and you have to apply it to a particular instance. 